Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Glowing Cabbage back again with another video for my uh, recent haul. It's not even recent anymore, I've had it so long, but uh, I've been slowly going through them. As you can imagine, it's absolutely impossible to listen to them all before showing them kind of thing. Well, I mean, if I wanted to take my time, but it would take forever, so... Anyways, I decided to just kind of showcase them and then maybe talk about them later on a little bit more in depth kind of thing. Um, in the background, we're listening to a really fantastic CD that surprised me. I didn't know what to expect from this, but it's um, Sisters Euclid, Run, Neil Run. An homage, an instrumental homage to uh, Neil Young. And I'll show you the inside, what they look like. So, I know it's a little, there we go. And this is, uh, these are the track listings. We're, we're listening to the first track on this, Southern Man, then there's Helpless. So I'll just keep this on the whole, the whole video. Tony, Mr. Farfoy, I think you would really like this a lot, man. You should check this out if you really like Neil Young. All right, on to the records. I've been doing a lot of videos lately because I want to get through these and stuff. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody, as always. I really appreciate it. All right. Uh, even if you don't like jazz, everyone in their, everyone in the world should have Billie Holiday in their collection. I got this in that hall, the essential Billie Holiday on Verb. Carnegie Hall concert. <coughs> Excuse me. It's gatefold. Look at her. She had a hard life, really hard life, but she came through it and became one of the most amazing songstresses ever. You guess me, I mean, in my, in my humble opinion. A little, a little tip of the hat to uh, uh, Yolo Box, Madness. He did a big video a while back on the history of all these, like, Madness and other, you know, you know what I'm saying. One Step Beyond. Um, I have no idea about this record. It's Bernie Sinensky and a record called Free Spirit. It looks interesting. Two dollar reject from the library it looks like, or CBC Record Library actually. But uh, I haven't I haven't even sampled this yet. But uh, if anybody knows anything about that record, let me know. Chet Atkins and the First Nashville Guitar Quartet. I haven't listened to this yet either, but it looks absolutely amazing. Chet Atkins is one of my favorites for sure. This looks like it's going to be all over the place, really. Um, another Branford Marsalis. Royal Garden Blues. A library reject, but I'm really warming up to this guy. Uh, I have a copy of this one. Uh, Sealed. I got it at like the Valley Village like a long, long, long time ago. But this one is unsealed. And it's a uh, Dizzy Gillespie late in his career, I believe. Or maybe it's not. Actually, uh, 19, oh no, no, not even close. 1955, so anyway, it's uh, One Night in Washington, Duke, or Dizzy Gillespie and the Orchestra. There's the back. Uh, Next TC, I'm not sure if I showed this one already or not, but uh, this is Next TC that I didn't have that came in that hall. It's uh, called White Music. Um, still haven't, I still haven't listened to it. I know it's crazy, but this one I believe is somewhat of a new agey kind of film, or uh, kind of uh, record, combining the piano and the oboe. It's Iris Steen and Russell Walder. This is another CBC reject record. Uh, <clears throat> I think this is. I have another copy of this record actually. But uh, it's Some Like It Cool. It's sort of a United Artists compilation of artists from all over the place. Jerry Mulligan, Irene Crawl, Cecil Taylor. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's like a yeah, okay. compilation. Uh, Fathers and Sons, uh, Ellis Marcellus, I think, maybe? Uh, let's see here. Fathers and Sons. Another jazz record, should be interesting. Uh, who are the, uh, so Ellis Marcellus, Wynton Marcellus, Branford Marcellus, wow, it's 
Marcellus Trio. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I haven't listened to this yet either. This came in that hall. Uh, this was a very nice score to find in that hall. I don't ha I don't have one other record uh, by Bill Evans, but this is Bill Evans Montreux 2 recorded live at the Montreux Festival in 1970 on CTI. It's a gatefold <clears throat> and uh, more sort of artwork on the inside. Uh, Benny Carter, Central City Sketches, American Jazz Orchestration, the world premiere recording on classics and jazz, uh, on Music Masters. I'm trying to, I haven't even read anything about these or done any research or anything, but it's Benny Carter. Um, and this is some nice slide guitar here, too. I remember listening to this. This is Dave, Dave Brubeck and Buck Clayton, Miles Davis, Duke Ellington, Benny Goodman, Lionel Hampton, J.J. Johnson, Jerry Mulligan, Joe Wilder, Teddy Wilson, all at the Columbia Jazz Festival. This is a very nice record too. Is this? Yeah, it is Gatefold. But it's weird. I, 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 there's no information except for the catalog for Columbia Jazz Festival. It's kind of a pointless... You know, and it's a one record set, so it's just like a shameless advertising for the Columbia Record Company, which was disappointing. I would have liked to have seen some pictures and stuff, but um, all right, all right. So uh, this is something else. I haven't listened to this yet, but I know it's going to be something else. It's the quintet: Herbie Hancock, Freddie Hubbard, Wayne Shorter, Ron Carter, and Tony Williams. Oh man, like even uh, the pictures on the back. You know, Ron Carter just spacing out on the bass. Freddie Hubbard, Wayne Shorter, Tony Williams on drums. And it's also a gatefold. Another fantastic record, gatefold on uh, London Records, a double record set on stage with the Benny Goodman Sextet, uh, recorded live in Copenhagen. This is later in Benny, Benny Goodman's career. Look at that pensive shot of him. And there's the back. And uh, just a few more, just a few more guys. Uh, great guitars at the winery, Charlie Bird, Barney Kessel, and Herb Ellis. I actually sampled this and it is just, oh man, the musicianship on this is just, just out to lunch, man. Barney Kessel alone, man, he used to play with the uh, Oscar Peterson Quartet, and he just, in my in my humble opinion, stole the show in many ways. You know, he can wail on the guitar. Man. If you guys don't know about Barney Kessel, check him out, man. And of course, Charlie Bird and Herb Ellis, too. Jeez. You know, this is nice. This is on uh, the... Uh, trying to see. Well, I have to get out the record here and take a look. It's on the Concord Jazz label, so really neat little sleeve that came out. It's kind of trippy. All right, so Dave Brubeck's all-time greatest hits, Gateful, on Columbia. So it's uh, actually the record's open this way, but it's uh, meant to be seen sort of like so. So Dave Brubeck, all-time greatest hits. Uh, and then here on this, he's playing with uh, a lot of different special artists. There's a huge write-up, like it just goes on and on. Cool. And the last record that I'm going to feature in this video is uh, Lester Young. My only Lester Young record. It's a library reject kind of thing. And it's on uh, Commodore Records. Yeah, it's Commodore Records. Lester Young. The name of the record is Kansas City 6 and 5. So that's nice to get to. A lot of jazz records. There's still more, still more jazz records to come. Uh, there's a, quite a few little classical records too that I'm going to be doing a, a video on also. And uh, you know, I, I don't to underestimate how lucky I was getting this crazy score for 30 bucks. I know. Um, we all have one sooner or later, so you know, we'll, you, 
guys will all get one too, I'm sure. So thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, please comment.